Today is a big day. We're getting the new solar arch put on the back of the boat. And we have four big panels you can see over there. There are 585 watt bifacial panels that are going up on the rack. It's gonna give us a huge amount of power. Now I know it kind of is gonna mess up the look of the back of the boat a little bit. It's not gonna to be too bad, I hope, but it's gonna be a beautiful rack, you'll see. They're gonna be here in about an hour or so to get work on it, but I wanted to give you a before of what it looks like before we get that rack put on the back. But we're very, very excited. It's really gonna help with our independence in the boat and it's gonna be pretty sweet. Alexander is the fabricator who is helping us with our solar arch. He is 100% just a fabricator. What we're doing right here is he's already finished the arch. We are actually getting the solar panels and we are drilling the holes ourselves. And this makes sense. He doesn't want the liability of the glass breaking, which probably happens quite frequently. So we are going to be drilling all the holes ourselves and getting it all 100% ready to be installed on our boat. What I'm doing here is drilling through the center panels so that we can bolt them together. Bolting them together gives a bit of rigidity for the whole system. Next, they pull out the finished rack and lay it upside down on top of the solar panels. And then each one of the mounting bracket holes need to be drilled and bolted into place. Now when we're done with all this, it will get completely disassembled for transport. But this is far easier than trying to mount the panels in place once the rack has been installed. I'm up on our port coach roof. We had two solar panels here. They're pretty crappy solar panels. They're like 160 watt panels. They were completely mismatched. And this is one thing that really drove me nuts. This particular bracket for this thing was sitting up on this level the other one was down here oh my god this whole thing is a mess and look how dirty all of this is so now that I've got these loosened up and I've got these brackets off I'm gonna have to fill all these holes I'm gonna clean all of this really carefully and then I'm gonna polish all of this up here because on Monday which is just today Saturday on Monday the fabricator is coming by and we're gonna have a whole new solar panel array set up here so the new ones are going in a frame and they're gonna be sitting up above these two lines so that will reduce or eliminate any chafe issues that we had with the old panels the new ones are gonna be 250 watts a piece so two of them that'll give us an extra 500 watts up here so really looking forward to that I spent a bunch of time over the weekend. I went through and cleaned this entire area and then I ceramic coated it because I know once these panels go up, it'll be very difficult to clean underneath them. But I think with the ceramic coating and all that, it'll be pretty easy. So it was a lot of work, a lot of prep work, but I'm really excited about it. I think it's gonna be super sweet. Up here on the back of the coach roof is where the original three panels were up here and they weren't working either. So we've got this whole area up here. I've cleaned and ceramic coated this whole area up here as well, but you can see the back of the traveler there. That is where we're going to attach the new rack. So this is what it looks like, a little before action here. It could look very different here in a few hours. Come with some room. Look at the size of this thing, huh? You can't even see the seams. This thing looks like it's all one piece. It's amazing. So. This is where the Starlink is going, right there. Very nice. Pretty cool, huh? And that rack on the top is for the top coach loop. The rack was lifted by the topping lift and then placed with the feet on the aft flange of the Traveler. Yeah, so Franny has to take the Starlink off. We want to make sure that she gets that off before they start working. Here we go. Yay, we love the Starlink. Yeah, into the drink bag. Into the drink very bad.
geometric, but you know, there's a crossover on some of these. It's really close. Oh yeah, that, that's better. I actually had, I think I've got one in the truck, but it's got the locator. With the feet firmly attached to the traveler, the next step is to install the legs. For the feet, one screw is inserted just to hold them in place, and then the other three holes are drilled out. Later, bolts will be attached. So you have to check out what Heidi did here. She went out and she bought everybody lunch, all the guys and everything. They, they powered it all down and mount through a bunch of lunch. It was great. Sometimes it's nice when we have such uh, wonderful contractors working on a boat. Um, they have to a lot of times stop, go find a place to eat. And to me, it's just as easy for me to order something in advance from Publix or something like that, go grab it takes me 30 minutes, you know, I prepay for it and everything, and then um, I have a bunch of happy faces and people are really excited. So I like that. There it is, the big reveal. Beautiful rack, look at that. Mounted right to the base there on the sugar scoop, right in front of the handle, so it's completely out of the way. It also provides a great grab hold when you get out of the dinghy. But this thing is so nice, look at all the rounded bend corners on it, just everything, very, very nice such high quality and look do you see a seam in this thing anywhere no my god it's like the whole thing's made out of one piece it's in, it's incredible the little hoop back there is going to be for the starlink so looking forward to that it's crazy strong and then i'm super excited about do you see that little hook right there right do you see it right there that little hook oh look there's a strap holder there oh and look another strap holder couldn't imagine what that's for. So this rack is so strong that I am going to be able to suspend the sunfish from there. Isn't that amazing? It's gonna be awesome. Can't wait. So that's how we're going to travel with the sunfish. Show you what it looks like up here. All right. So that's what it looks like. It's mounted right to the top of the traveler. Super strong great way to mount it. So next up is to install the solar panels. That's going to be on me. It's going to be great. Get them up there. I'll get them all bolted into place. And then we have a rack sitting over here that is going to go on the port coach room. That's going to be sweet. That's our another 500 watts over on that side. So let me show you that. All right. So there it is. That's the new rack. This rack is actually made out of aluminum. All nice anodized aluminum. That's going to be awesome. It's going to go up on the port coach roof right there. The mounting brackets were fabricated on the spot and welded in place. Then the solar panels were attached and the entire assembly was lifted up onto the coach roof. We had a few obstacles we had to work around, but we eventually found a good spot. The coach roof is pretty thin here, so unfortunately, all of the mounts had to be through bolted. The bolts came through the coach roof just over the galley and we were able to use a countersunk bolt and cover it up. Love that vacuum cleaner. <laughs> it's so useful. Yeah. The panels themselves are actually pretty heavy, about 60 pounds. So it really does take a couple of people to get them all the way up.
Since we had already pre-drilled all the mounting holes for the panels, it was pretty straightforward to bolt them in place. Although access sometimes was a little bit difficult for sure. In addition to the solar arch, we also had Alexander build us a couple of braces for the coach roof. Now our coach roof is a little floppy because it's actually cantilevered off the aft end. These new braces though made it super stiff. And look at that weld job, welded in place. And all the welds were polished. In the next episode, Franny pulls all the wiring for the panels and finds a location for all the MPPT solar controllers. There's a lot more solar and electrical coming up. If you like this video, subscribe, leave a like, and as always, thanks for watching until the end. Safe travels. Bye!